Welcome to Home Acer, where barn doors meet hardware to create fabulous centerpieces for homes and office settings. Explore our diverse selection of barn doors and hardware kits, allowing you to bring your dream home to life. Let us introduce you to our hardware kits and how to calculate the correct door size and track size you will need for a single track bypass hardware kit. Before we get started, there are a few things to take into consideration while you are calculating the size of door and track. Crown molding, door trim, and floor trims can affect your installation. Depending on how far they stick out from the wall and how thick your door is, you may need additional materials to enable your door and hardware to be able to clear it. The easiest solution is to use a header board. Not only does this help your door clear the trim, a header board offers stability and can either be used as an additional accent for your doors. The header board can be 3 fourths inch and above depending on the thickness of your trim. If in the case where mounting holes do not align with your studs, then a header board will still be required. If your track length comes in more than one piece joined with a junction plate, the spacing where the track connects with the junction plate may not be 16 inch apart. Therefore, the second track onwards may not line up with your studs. In this case, a header board will be required for stability. Please do not mount directly into your drywall without the proper supporting header. Each hardware kit comes with flat rollers, bent rollers, tracks, floor guides, door stoppers, anti-jumps, and spacer sets. Single Track Bypass Bypass hardware is typically used with two or more doors when there is a lack of wall space on the sides of the opening for doors to slide out of the way. A single track bypass utilizes two doors on one track which overlaps to reveal the opening. Due to both doors sliding on the same track, the doors are not able to bypass completely due to the wheels bumping into one another. With that in mind, please note there is a permanent six and a quarter inch overlap between the two doors when spread to close with our classic and straight rollers. If you are using the spoke wheel rollers, the overlap is 10 inches. When calculating your door sizes, be sure to account for the overlap and increase the door's width. To calculate the door's width, take your opening size, add 7 inches and divide by 2. That should be the minimum width per door. If using spoke wheels, take your opening size, add 10 inches, and divide it by 2 to get the minimum width per door. The overlap measurement of doors covering the wall is your preference, but we recommend adding a minimum of 2 additional inches per door. For example, with an opening at 60 inches, each door should be a minimum of 33 and a half inches. After adding some overlap, each door can be about 36 inches wide. To determine the track length, please make sure to choose a size larger than your opening width for some overhang. 6 inches or an additional 12 inches and over is preferred. So here, we would go with either a 66 inch or 72 inch track. If you have wall space on one side, you do have the option of extending the track out so the doors can slide out of the way in which case you would add a door's width to the track length calculation formula. The single track bypass is usually used with two doors, but you do have an option of making it a three or four door kit. With that said, please remember that each set of overlapping doors with one pair of bent rollers and one pair of flat rollers comes with six and a quarter inch overlap. If you are using a header board, we recommend a minimum of one by five. Hardware that uses regular rollers will require a clearance of 6 inches from the top of the door to the ceiling. Spoke wheels will require a minimum of 8 inches from top of door to ceiling. This concludes our introduction to the single track bypass hardware kit. 